In this video, I'm going to talk about voiding checks in QuickBooks Online. I'll put timestamps in the description so that you can watch just the parts that you need. And I'm going to use the QuickBooks Sample Company to demonstrate this. If you wrote a check to a vendor that's no longer valid or got lost in the mail, or you need to reissue the check for some reason, or it's just an outdated check that doesn't need to be paid anymore, you may decide to go ahead and void that check in QuickBooks. Now you could delete the check as an alternative, but just keep in mind that by voiding it, you keep a record of the check in your system and you can put notes on there so you know what happened later. But if you delete it, it's gonna remove it altogether. So voiding is definitely a better option for a check that was issued than deleting it. And there's a couple different ways to void a check in QuickBooks Online. So let's just walk through a couple of them. I'm gonna to go to expenses and you can sort for bill payments, which are sometimes checks and checks. So I'm gonna void this check right here, computers by Jenny for $400. So to void this, I could just click on this drop down arrow right here and choose to void. And it's going to give me a little pop-up window to ask if I want to void this transaction. I'm going to go ahead and cancel this because I'm going to show you a second way. If I actually view or edit the check, I can void it in this screen as well. I can just click on this more button and click on void. I'm going to go ahead and void this one. And here you can see the voided check that is now zero. If I wanted to add any details, such as the details of why it was voided, I could just click on View, Edit, and add information on here. Now let's look at voiding a check that was originally used to pay a vendor bill. So we're going to go to a vendor here. We're going to go to this vendor, the utilities company, PG&E. And we're going to look at voiding this $86.44 bill payment. So I could do that within the screen again. I could void it here. Or I could go back over to the expenses tab, find that bill payment, and void it here. So I'm going to go ahead and void this. And again, it gives me a little pop-up that says void. And that's all you have to do. It's as simple as that. And then now I'm back in that vendor. When I voided that check, which is showing up here as a zero, now it opened the vendor bill back up and I can pay this vendor bill again. So I could reissue that check and add the bill on to pay the check. Okay, I'm not gonna create it, but I just wanted to show you that. Now the tricky part comes in when you need to void a check from a prior year. Once the tax return is filed and the books are finalized, you wouldn't want to void a check in that year. Now some programs allow you to void a check and have the effect of it happen in the current year, but QuickBooks Online does not do that. It will void the check in the year the check was written. And that's at the time of making this video. By the time you watch this video, that may have changed. But as of right now, when you go to void a check, like if I were to void this check from 2024, it's going to put that void in the year 2024. And if the tax return has already been filed for 2024, then I'm not going to want to do that. I'm not going to want to change something in that year. So what I would have to do is do some sort of offsetting entry to close out the $55 open check. So I could do this two ways. I could do a journal entry or I could create a deposit, but I wanna make sure my entry is dated in the current year. So first I'm gonna show you a journal entry. So I'd click on new journal entry and I would make sure it was dated in the current year and I would use whatever expense account was on the original check. So in that particular check, we're doing the $55 for bookkeeping expense or bookkeeper expense. I would want to offset the check with an entry doing the opposite. So when you write a check, let me put in the checking account here, 
When you write a check, it's a debit to the expense account, a credit to checking for a simple, straightforward check with one expense on it. So I want to do the opposite. I would want to do a credit for the expense account and a debit to operate to checking or whatever account it was written from. And then I would just save and close. And then the next time I do the reconciliation, the monthly reconciliation, which would be right here. And I'm just going to put a random number in here just so I can show you. I would need to find that open check or unclear check. There it is as a payment. I would want to check that off and I would want to check off the journal entry I just created. And the net effect of the payment and the deposit will be zero and it will close that out. Okay, I'm not going to save this. I'm going to close without saving and give you an alternative. So I'm going to go back and delete that journal entry. And instead, I'm going to do a deposit, which you may find easier for you, whether you want to do a deposit or, um, or a journal entry is completely up to you. It should have the same effect. And I would just put that it was received from the vendor. I would put the account and I would put the amount here and maybe write a note void check number, whatever the check number was. And I'm going to save and close. So it's going to give me the same effect. I'm going to offset the check with that deposit I just made. And that's it. And I would do the rest of the reconciliation as normal. Okay, I'm not going to save that. And then on the reports, then let me look at the profit and loss real quick. In the current year, it's going to actually show up as a negative under that expense account. And then in the prior year, it would show up as a positive. But the positive 55 expense and the negative 55 expense zero each other out, they just happen to be in different years because of the way this played out as far as voiding a check in a different year than the check itself. So I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below and thank you for watching.